Good evening. A dog owner from Paynton is appealing for help to find her chihuahua after she says it was snatched by a seagull. Becca Hill says Gizmo was in her garden yesterday afternoon when the bird swooped down and flew away with him in its beak. Nick Smith is live in Paynton for us this evening. Uh, Nick, what is the latest on the search for Gizmo? Well, the latest is that poor Gizmo still hasn't been found. It was yesterday that the offending seagull swooped down into Becker Hills Garden in the Malden Road area of Paynton, picking up the four-year-old chihuahua in its beak and then flying off into the distance. Now, the family have launched a series of appeals via social media to try and find him. They were too upset to speak on camera a bit earlier on today. However, we have been hearing that there have been many local searches taking place throughout Paynton by lost animal charities and many volunteers tears as well. They've been going through people's gardens and local parks to try and find him. Now the story itself has been causing quite a stir down on Paynton Seafront today. The people we've been speaking to have been telling us that the seagulls here are unruly, overly aggressive and they need to be controlled. My mum was down here a couple of weeks ago and the seagull hit her on the back of the shoulder and bit a finger and took a sandwich out of it and brought blood to her finger. They're quite um, hardcore, aren't they? <laughs> Nuisance. <laughs> yeah, they do make they a mess in town when they mm. come in to breed. They all come into town and breed on the roofs in town. They make a hell of a lot of noise. But the seagulls are part of the wildlife, so you can't really yeah. do a great deal about them. The only thing you get is people eat in the middle of town. Don't eat in the middle of town. That, that's all. Because they'll go for you. Yeah, like, other than that, I don't think they're a problem. Yeah, we've seen them land on people's uh, dinner tables, taking, <laughs> taking the dinner off. <laughs> Well, many people have been saying they're perplexed as to how a seagull could even carry a dog in its beak, even one as small as a chihuahua. But we've been speaking to an avian expert and he does say that seagulls do prey on small animals. So this kind of incident isn't totally unheard of. I have heard of gulls, larger gulls, taking rabbits. They will take rabbits, young rabbits, absolutely. But certainly this is the first uh, incident of a dog snatch that I'm aware of. Would a girl try and eat, you know, or kill and eat a, a small dog, would you say, yeah? In certain circumstances, yes it would. It's a food item, so yes it would. But a dog will fight back. Uh, obviously depending on the size of the dog, you know, something as very small as the miniature Tarawa doesn't have a lot of bite force, so a goal will overpower it, not a problem. And Nick, this isn't the first seagull attack we've had here in the West Country. Well, no, there have been instances of seagulls attacking dogs here in the region and indeed people as well. Back in 2015, a, uh, a woman's three-year-old son witnessed a Yorkshire Terrier being attacked by seagulls in her garden in Cornwall. The dog eventually had to be put down. And back in 2017, a, uh, a seagull attacked uh, a woman in her 80s in Lyme Regis. It left a nasty scratch by her eye and uh, it nearly took out her eye as well while she was enjoying an ice cream down on the seafront. So they they certainly can pose a threat. Okay, Nick, thank you very much indeed.